So what we really want to get to know, especially on a Monday morning, <laughs> is what is primary about us, what is always on, stable, ready for action. Whether hungover, tired, wishing to be asleep, somewhere else, maybe on the beach. What we want to get to know about ourselves right here, right now, is open intelligence. And open intelligence is completely available to you right now. It is the super intelligence, your innate intelligence. And to introduce ourselves very directly to open intelligence, simply stop thinking. Just for a moment. Stop thinking and recognize that about you that is completely stable and alert and wide open. And then we can welcome all the data streams, all the thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences. These we call data streams in balanced view. We can welcome all the data streams back into our experience. And what we come to see very directly is that this open intelligence that is present when we stop thinking is present when we are thinking. So the simple instruction to stop thinking is to just introduce ourselves to this intelligence. That about us that is just present. That is hearing me speak. That is seeing. Tasting, touching, sensing. And we get to know this about ourselves through taking short moments of recognizing open intelligence. And we repeat that many times. Quite simply, short moments are the soul, is the sole tool of balanced view, the only practice. And we use that to tap into this open intelligence. And we become familiar with this intelligence, short moment by short moment rather than living from data streams, which we've all done throughout our lives in some way or, of, or another. We've given an independent nat nature to the data streams that we experience, the positive, the negative, and the neutral. And so we've built up a lifestyle based on these ever-changing data streams, completely unpredictable, ceaseless, and countless. You can check that out in your experience right now. How much has come up for you already since I started talking? All sorts of things have come up for you, positive, negative, and neutral. But right there is a great opportunity to take a short moment, available for you right now, a tool that can be used wherever you are, whatever situation you're in. So you apply a short moment, allowing the data streams, the thoughts, the emotions, the experiences, all the sensations, we allow them to be as they are. And in doing so, we recognize the inseparability of open intelligence and data. Inseparable like the sky and the color blue. And what do we do? We continue on taking short moments, regardless of what appears in our experience. So feeling fearful, feeling like we're playing a role of some sort, the role that we like to play or the role that we don't like to play, just data streams appearing and resolving within open intelligence. No need to take any extreme with any data stream. Simply take a short moment, apply a short moment, let things be as they are. Not an education that I've ever received, let things be as they are. If the shit hits the fan, then I've got to do something about it. And then the shit kept on hitting the fan <laughs> over and over again. So applying the same solution and finding the same result of the shit continually hitting the fan. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I'm empowered through the Balance View training to let everything be as it is. And when I do so, I find, wow, there is this stable nature about myself that I just missed. I missed because I was giving all the data streams an independent nature. And that's how I was educated. 
and all those around me were educated in this way as well. So they were my role models. So I lived in this way and I thought that that's the best that I can do. And then I was introduced to Balance View. The plan wasn't to be here sitting with you. The plan was to show up to an introductory training, show up to a four day training and see for myself if there is any benefit in what is being shared in the Balance View training. And what I saw, regardless of the resistance and the doubt and the skepticism, that open intelligence is totally available for me. So I didn't need to have the right data streams about myself, about the world, about other people or about Balanced View. I just had to apply short moments of open intelligence and repeat that many times and see for myself if it's the business, if it's the real deal. And so I did that. I just checked it out in my own experience. And when we do that for ourselves, we authentically see if it's working for us or not. And that's the important point. Nothing that you hear today do you have to believe. But to openly test out what is being shared is where you get to see if what is being shared is actually working for you in your direct experience. And that's what we want to get to know, what's going to work for us in our experience. When we're feeling all sorts of emotions and sensations, when they've ruled our lives and made us avoid situations. I know for myself that was the key. I've avoided relationships with family, with friends, with places, with countries, all because I attributed an independent nature to the data that I would experience. <laughs> And so to, pe to be empowered by the short moments and by the support network of the four mainstays, I just came to see I'm choosing to live in this way, to be a victim to my data. Wow. And now imagine being able to take responsibility for the data that you experience. No needing to avoid anything, no needing to replace any data stream and no needing to indulge and analyze and think about. Simply allow ourselves to be as we are. And maybe f for the first time we're doing that. And so having a support structure, a robust support structure that is always available for us is what's gonna make this real and authentic in our experience. So what are the four mainstays? So we have the practice of short moments a reset button that is yours. Then we have trainings, the one day training, a four day training, just these, these introductory trainings, just empowering this recognition of open intelligence inseparable from data. We have a community together here in India, all over the world and online. Some of those have gone before us and the power of those who have gone before us shows us what we are capable of. That's why hanging out with the community is a great way to get to know this training in action. That's the key point. That was the key point for me, seeing other people living and demonstrating these qualities that were spoken about that I didn't believe, but they were being lived out and it was unavoidable. It was so authentic no extreme whatsoever, just comfortably living as they are, in their own style and groove, not in some robotronic kind of way where we're all the same. We're all different. But what unites us is open intelligence. And each one of us here has different flavors of data streams and they are expressed through our strengths, gifts and talents. And what unites us is this open intelligence, regardless of anything that appears for us. So we let ourselves be as we are, and we let what naturally comes up, how we express our benefit, our, how we express ourselves through our speech, our body, our mind, our qualities and activities. We let ourselves be as we are, and we see others doing the same. And then we see, wow, there's something going on here, something attractive, something authentic people just living comfortably as they are and demonstrating great qualities in different areas
that we might be skillful in or not, but we see people thriving. And that's the benefit of showing up to the community, regardless of what data we experience. We see people really living this. And so then the fourth mainstay is a trainer that we can request after the 12 empowerments. And I know for me, having a trainer is like having an intimate relationship. And I have an intimate relationship as well. <laughs> and the benefit of having the support of a trainer for me has meant that the relationship I have with my partner right now is just one of complete ease, joy and empowerment and allowing my partner to be as she is. It was not the case before meeting Balance View. I was trying to change her in every way. Please turn off the light. Please close the door. Please clean up your clothes. Please do this. Please do that. It was such a disempowering way to be in a relationship. And I couldn't take responsibility for the data streams of how I wanted someone else to be. So I acted out and I was very reactive as a partner. And so what ensued was just a completely disempowering relationship and always wanting something to change. And when I was empowered to take responsibility and just step up, empower the situation by doing the things that I wanted to be done, not in a way of you do it, I'll do it and maybe we can empower the situation by finding skillful solutions to support my partner with where she's at. There's plenty of things that I'm sure I don't do that she would hope that I would be doing as well. But we take responsibility for ourselves and that's what's key. And from there, an intimate relationship can really thrive. And that is my direct experience. Right now, my partner, I see her as just perfect as she is. I see myself as perfect as I am. I see everyone as perfect as they are no longer a victim to data streams. And that has taken consistent communication with my trainer, regardless of if I didn't want to share it with him, if I wanted to do it myself, allowing the arrogance of wanting to do it myself be as it is and taking it to my trainer and asking for support to clarify my experience to clarify how I can be of most benefit to myself and others. And the key is to start with ourselves. And then suddenly, when we just keep the focus on ourselves, allow ourselves to be as we are, we naturally see that benefit just emanates from all of our being. And it naturally comes about, nothing needing to contrive, no efforting required. This is an effortless practice. We just allow ourselves to be as we are and then benefit. It just pours out of us in a way that I'd always wanted, but I was forcing myself to be in that way. So we keep the focus on ourselves and we can continue doing that. And we can continue having the thoughts of I'm self-centered, I'm self-absorbed, me, me, me all selfish data streams that we might experience, let them be as they are and see how they can be contributed to beneficial activity. It just naturally comes about. So test out short moments, test out the four mainstays and see if this is your direct experience as well. I know for me, the only reason why I'm showing up and able to share is because this has become my direct experience. And yet all the data streams are simply as they were before meeting the training. Nothing has to change. What an amazing life. Perfect as you are. And we're completely here for you.